you know what I think? Asked Bert one evening, soon after the next season began. News to me that you could, said Mike cheekily. I suppose it would be, retorted Bert. Never having done any thinking yourself, Rex chuckled, and he and Mike waited. Well, go on, prompted Mike at last. Aren't you going to impress us with your thoughts after all? Something, Bert announced after another pause, is going on in the workshop. Work? suggested Rex innocently. Bert took no notice. I think, went on Bert, that the men are building something. I was waiting at the platform yesterday and the workshop door was open. I couldn't see much, but there was something on the floor inside. It looked like a boiler. Is that all? said Rex. He sounded disappointed. Probably a spare for one of us, said Mike. I don't think so, argued Bert. There were wheels as well. What I think, he paused dramatically, is that they're building a new engine. My fitter said he'd heard a rumour, added Bert. Three small engines looked hopefully at each other. About time too, said Rex. What's the new engine's name? Mike asked his driver the next morning. How did you know about the new engine? The driver asked. It's supposed to be a secret, they told him, and he laughed. I don't think the small controller has chosen a name yet, he said. When he does, I'll let you know. But, a few weeks later, when the new engine came out of the workshop for tests, the small controller had still not decided on a name. How odd, remarked Mike, looking with interest at the new engine's square windows and square top dome. And what a funny colour, put in Rex. No, it's not, said Bert. I like it. The new engine smiled. So do I, he said. My driver says it will be different in the end. This is something he calls an undercoat. Douglas and Duck came to look too. Douglas had just brought some empty ballast trucks along the branch line. He and Duck watched with interest as the new engine was put to his paces. He puts me in mind of my days in Scotland, Douglas remarked. Some of the engines up in the Highlands were young colour. Jocks, we used to call them. Jocks? asked the new engine, stopping nearby. Aye, agreed Douglas. No bad name for yourself, I'm thinking, eh, Jock? The small controller was delighted. Well done, Douglas, he said, and turned to the new engine. What do you think, he asked. It means you'd have to keep your colour, too, to give the name some point. Would you mind? Not a bit, sir, said the new engine. I like the colour, and the name would suit me fine. Excellent, said the small controller. That's settled, then. Thank you, Douglas. A splendid idea. And Douglas puffed away, well satisfied with his morning's work.